Hi guys, it's Damien from Sea Change Realty in MU Park. I'm just about to go and see Helen from Cap Coast Home Loans to find out how we can get a home. Hi guys again, like I was saying, we we're the best mortgage broker on the whole coast here. This is Helen from Cap Coast Home Loans. So thanks Thank for being here, Helen. And, thanks, uh, Damien. I really appreciate your time. And uh, like I was saying, I'd really like the folks to know more about how like easy or it's not so daunting to come and see you and work out how they can have their own home. So sure. first of all I just wanted to maybe if you could tell the folks um, a bit about yourself and how you've been in the industry. Okay, um, I've got about nearly 30 years in the industry. I started off in banking for 20 years and um, started off in the teller role and cus customer service then uh, branched out into the home lending and um, the bank manager role. Um, in that time I learnt a lot about finance, the industry um, and it gave me a lot of grounding for me to be able to go out on my own and do what I'm doing now. Um, I find it incredibly rewarding um, making people's dreams come true and um, we work on the make it easy for the clients um, it's not a daunting thing if you there's a little bit of planning involved sometimes and we take the worry out of it for the clients. Yeah, fantastic. Well, that's why I thought you are the best because you do take that pain, a lot of pain out and you've helped so many clients of mine in the past. So now I'm very happy with uh, just and your new office here. It's, it's brilliant. Up, up the top? Yeah. How long have you been here? What we've actually been here for 12 months now. Yeah. Um, we feel like we've literally come up the world in the world, yeah. um, being upstairs. Um, but yeah, the office has grown. We've got a, a good little team here now and we're all passionate about our customer service, doing the right thing by the client and making it a great experience. Awesome. So I was just talking about um, a couple of scenarios um, for people with figures really. Yeah. Um, so just say on the lower end of the scale for some of our tenants, let's say on the 250 sort of bracket, okay. what sort of scenario could you talk about and tell us Okay. how um, they could buy a nice, still there's some still great properties around for this type of price um, and then we're going to talk about a, a $300,000 buy. Sure. So if the client's buying for the first time, um, they're fortunate enough they don't have to pay stamp duty, so there's a saving there. So we can do a 250,000 purchase with the client needing around the $15,000. So that would need to be their savings, or there's, there's different ways around it, but basically if, you've got, if you can get to the 15,000, um, then you're in the running. Um, we just need you know, a nice clean report. Um, and uh, the good conduct on your accounts and things like that, but um, it's 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 certainly achievable, um, particularly for the first home buyer, and um, you can get the repayments on that sort of scenario, which is about the three twenty five a week, which is also very affordable. Um, if someone was looking at the slightly higher range, being around the three hundred thousand, mm. you'd need um, about approximately three thousand dollars more. So about eighteen thousand will get you in to the $300,000 property and your repayments will be something like about three ninety dollars a week. So again, that's very affordable mm. in the marketplace. Yeah, no, that's excellent. And let's just say you did have a little blemish. On, okay. Uh, you know, is it is it a hard thing to get around or like we're just early talking about credit checks. Yeah. Um, and I, I got some really good information from Helen about that. Yep. Did you just want to explain that? Sure. Um, sometimes people are unsure what's on their credit file, so we're happy to actually do the credit check for them. Um, sometimes there's little things on there that are actually only minor, and we can often get around those things. So it's really important to come and talk to me about that, and um, we can give you some guidance on how to get around these things. Oh, cool. Why should we come and see you as being a broker than to go to one of the big banks and uh, have them do your home loan? Okay, there's lots of reasons why you should come and see me first. Um, firstly, we take the um, time out of it for you in terms of looking around for the best deal, because we have them all. We have access to the majority of the lenders out there in the marketplace. So for starters, it saves you time. Um, another 
reason that you would come and see me first is we actually have a better strike rate of getting an approval through for you. And again, the reason for that, if you go to your bank, they only have one policy that they can work with, whereas we have multiple and they all have their own policies and ideas. So again, you may be declined by your bank, whereas we can get you through another lender. And that often actually is the case where the client comes to me after they've already been declined by their bank. The other thing that's really important is besides the strike rate of approval and shopping around for the best deals, it's putting, un if you're going and doing it yourself and you go to the bank, it's putting unnecessary inquiries on your credit file. Now the more inquiries on your credit file will actually pull the score down on your credit file, which can implicate your approval. So coming here, we eliminate that. And the other thing is we're able to, with most lenders do, if we're looking at using equity in an existing property, rather than going applying for your finance and finding out that the valuations come in short, you've just applied, put an inquiry on your credit file for, for no reason. Whereas we actually have access to most lenders being able to do an upfront valuation before we even go ahead and do an application. So once again, there's a benefit in, in terms of keeping your credit score as high as possible. Mm. Now, we also were talking about a couple of uh, good news stories that, yeah, you've helped some folks that, yeah, could you tell us a bit more about that? We, we, we feel that we have lots of good, good news stories, but um, probably the most recent one settled probably two weeks ago where he um, had his, he signed a contract for a house to purchase. It, he'd had several finance extensions and he actually went to another financier. Um, and in his desperation, he actually went looking to see someone else because he was getting nowhere after a long period of time. Mm. And so I had a very small window of opportunity to get his finance over the line for him because the vendor wasn't going to extend any more. Mm -hmm. So I had an actual very short deadline and we were fortunate enough to get him over the line. And um, he was extremely excited. Awesome. So yeah, that's that's what makes our job all worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, no, that's excellent, Hal. And also, we're looking at maybe three tips that you could give some folks um, that sure. could be talking about having to purchase a property. I'm sure we all do. Um, it's it's so. What yeah. would be your best thoughts? Um, one of the most important things that people don't realise is when we go for finance, um, the banks like to see clients' conduct on their accounts and we all miss payments, we all overdraw our accounts at times without thinking there's any any real implication with that. Mm -hmm. Well, there is. Um, banks are very critical about that. So when we show them, say, your last three months bank statements, we want to see that there's no overdrawns because that can be enough to decline a loan application. The other things that are really common are late payment fees on your credit card or overdrawn fees on your credit mm -hmm. card. Something as simple as that that seems so minor can have such a massive impact on approval. So mm -hmm. account conduct is paramount when you're applying for finance. We can't get that message out enough. Um, the other thing is just making sure that you've got that little bit of a savings pattern. Um, showing that you pay rent and having a rent history is also yeah, great. a big thing. Um, but that together with some sort of savings pattern is really helpful for us mm -hmm. as well. Um, if you do pay rent through to a real estate agent and you are fortunate enough to sell a vehicle or get a, be given a gift, um, that's when the rental history becomes really important to show the bank that you've got that um, good conduct mm -hmm. and um, that regular pattern of um, savings. So the, uh, the other thing is being able to understand what you can afford. When you're out looking for property, um, it's all very well to go with the one that you like, but you need to be able to make sure that it fits in with your budget and your lifestyle. So that's another thing that's really important is knowing what you can afford and what you're comfortable to pay. Mm -hmm. So that extra 50 grand, like, yeah. yeah. Can make all the difference. Okay. Yes. No worries. Um, also, I did meet uh, some folks, they're on the pension and they'd love to buy a house and I had a little chat with you about that you have got some over the line in the past. So just Yeah, there's, there's a lot, lot of things that come into play there. Um, in, in, like there's many different pensions for many different reasons and 
Um, as long as there's other strengths to the application, with, with a pension you would need a much more substantial deposit mm -hmm. um, or a supporting um, guarantee once again if you don't have the deposit. But, um, and again, the commitment would have to be reasonably low, like you wouldn't be spending a lot of money on a property because the pension's often not a huge amount of money, so it has to meet the servicing criteria for mm -hmm. that too. So we can look at it, they're a little bit more challenging, but depending on each situation, you know, there's, there are situations where we can get them over the line. Mm -hmm. uh, excellent. Um, I think that covers just about everything, Helen, at the moment. Okay. There, yeah. Did you want to say anything else that would yeah, be really important to yeah. help people? Um, what we see a lot in our in our industry is people that are really struggling just to make uh, manage their finances. Um, we find people are really finding it difficult to get ahead or get that little savings pattern happen, happening. So we've actually in the process or in the very early stages of developing a budget management um, process that we can help clients um, manage their finances and get on top of them, uh, reduce their debts and actually even save some money and um, we're really excited about that because we know there's a need out there and no one is currently offering that so we're excited to do that and um, to support that we can actually see the clients with that tell them what their capacity is for their borrowing um, and put a plan in place for them to be prepared to um, and ready for a purchase. Awesome. Yeah, well, that sounds great, Helen. Yeah. And one last mm. thing I'll oh, say, yeah. it doesn't cost anything to come and see me. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So talking about to come and see Helen, I'll put the details just down below there so you can give her a call or send her an email. She's got lovely staff here that'll love to help. And uh, yeah, Helen wants to talk to you. So yeah, guys. Thank you, and thanks for the opportunity, Damien. My pleasure. Thanks, Thank Helen. you. Cool. <laughs>